Well, it's the 1st of July 2017, 06.33 hours British summer time, second month of summer, and it's dry, which is quite good. It's a bit breezy, it's quite humid, but it'll do. And well, this bed was mounted. Anyway. No deep thoughts. Just off to Newport. Gonna try and avoid the rugby and stick to the fine ales. Happy Saturday everybody. Well, the Queens. Let's go back a long way. Anyway, um sky. Overcast. Seven octaves. So I had a coffee in the Queen's Hotel and I was waiting for 8 o'clock for the bar to open and it's the world of rugby in here. So I moved on to the John Wallace Linton and the rugby isn't on. Hopefully I'll get served. Such is my life. Can you tell there's no rugby on in here? We have Naga. And we have a nice bit of carpet as well. Anyway, uh, pint of the day. First pint of the day actually. Maui Brewing Company, although it's brewed in Caledonian Brewery in Edinburgh. This is Island Inspired Blondale, 4.5%. Um, £2.29. Mm, I smell hops, I smell suspiciously British. Mmm, very tingly. Slightly fruity. Very, very tingly and fruity. Not much of a finish. Take back what I said about British shops. B plus. Start of the day. Quick mention to Mr. Manning and everyone else who likes carpets. Anyway, it's been a while. This is Thunderbird from the Glamorgan Brewery. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, this is nice. Done my arm in. I don't know if it's broken or I pulled the muscle or... Well, if it's broken, it's a stress fracture. It's not like a complicated thing with blood and whatever. Well, I'm just getting old. Anyway, he has breakfast. Mm, hoppy, not sure, nose rubbish. Ooh. That's a bit of slightly fruity, citrusy. Mm. A B plus in a bit. Nice long bit of finish. Oh, that's only the second, and I'm just starting it. Mm, really nice bit of finish. Well, I'm hoping the rugby's over. But I'm not altogether sure. Anyway, pen and wood. Post rugby. And, uh, and carpet. New house brewery, summit hoppy. 4% alcohol by volume. It's all very excited in the Lions run, apparently. Blonde. Mm. That's aroma. That's my nose, by the way. Mm. Sharp. Tingly. Nice bit of finish. I'm thinking it's a piece less than a bit. Mm. Yeah, nice, nice bit of finish. Well, this is going to get me in trouble with Gaza Prescott. This is from Cockley. I'm seeing an emoji. Or even a sticker, I don't know. Um, 
4.2% alcohol by volume, coffee from Somerset. Uh, let's have a look at night. Oh, a bit cold. Maybe not the right temperature. So Campbell and Aussie are the use on the TV. Hmm. Not bad. A little bit too cold at the moment. Come back in a little while with the rating. Because I think it needs to warm up. Oh, I'm going to put the plug on the TV, but it's good. So I'm back. Um, I don't know if I said it's 4.2% alcohol by volume. It's warmed up a bit, but it's not warm. I think it'd be plus in a bit. Nice, malty, rich. I wouldn't say full body, but nice body. Yeah, and the Eagles. It's a good day. And, oh, Saul disappears. It is Saul Campbell. Oh, he's back. Saul Campbell. And carpet. Not quite drunk yet, but this is going to be one of those days. Oh, yeah, it's a carpet as well. I know who I am. It's just open. The finest chips in Newport. Oh, 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 I need them. I really need them. And look! This guy. I love it. The market. And Tiny Rebel. The tiniest rebels in the world. With the award winning bitters. Bitters? Beers and bitters. And there were, no, there was Wi Fi problems, but it's alright now. Mr. Manning, no carpet, he didn't like it too. Anyway, um, Tiki Brew, US best, 4.2% alcohol by volume from the Tickety Brew Cask Specials in a tiny rubber glass on the day that they opened the new brewery. Smells malty. Malty, hint of bitterness. Malty finish, P plus. An exceptional? Oh, I'm sorry. This takes me back to last June, except it's no longer June, it's now July. Was it Craft Ale Rising? It was a craft festival down the depot in Cardiff anyway. And one of the things I enjoyed on there was something like um, Crate. Now it wasn't a sour, but this is Crate Sour, 4% alcohol by volume. And it's a lovely colour. And then a tiny rebel glass. Ooh, yes. Sort of strawberry. Ooh. I'd say more acidic than sour. And sharp. That's a B plus plus. Easily. Tell what I like. Oh yeah, refreshing. So okay, this is just about gonna finish me. As you can probably tell from the slurring. This is a triple freak. An 8.5% alcohol by volume. Brewery Delete. L-E-I-T-E. QV -E. Surist. Okay. Smells of cherries. It smells. It's got that sour, earthy, mapping sort of taste. Ooh, really complex. Sweet and sour and a 
acidic. That's a B plus plus. Oh wow. A summer's afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the last one.